Hello Stock Stalkers, welcome back to the channel. Last week was very interesting, especially for Dubai financial market. Many stocks went higher giving us good opportunities. Let's discuss DFM index first and then we will check out some potential stocks. Last closing is very interesting with a solid green candle. Closing is at 4036. Last week we saw a red candle, we were expecting a deeper correction. However, market just made a U-turn from current level. I will go down to daily chart to analyze further. We can see here market came down till about this level that is 3975 after touching 4050 points. It made a correction with this small red candle and then it made a U-turn. Last candle closing in Friday session is still positive. There are good chances it can continue its upside momentum. So where is the resistance area? Well, 4100 can be a good resistance. We can expect to see a rally of 70 points. In case if it wants to come down for a correction again, this can be again our support area that is 3975. However, once this resistance is taken out, we can expect another move till about 4150. We can expect some kind of hurdle here as this was a strong resistance prior. So coming week will be very interesting. Let's check out some stocks. This is the daily chart of MR properties. It's looking a bit weaker but still in a strong uptrend. Well, talking about support, 6.60 is strong support. Immediate support is at 6.65. There are good chances if it opens with a gap up, it can continue its upside momentum. However, we can see it have tested 6.80 twice and we are seeing a rejection. So in case if it wants to come down, these two areas will act as a support. Overall, Imar is in a strong uptrend. Not to forget that Imar will soon release its financial results. If the results are above expectation, it will cross 7.00 very soon. Overall, Imar is still bullish. We saw a breakout in DR in Friday session. DR have now broken this trend line. There are good chances it can slowly and steadily climb higher. Next target should be around 0.804. Yes, there are resistance areas in between, but it should cross the hurdles as long as it's following this trend line right here. Strong support is at 0.725 area. However, do not forget to book some of your profits around 0.765 zone. Offload some of your quantities here and then let your profits run. We can see some fresh buying happening in Aldar right here after a sharp decline from 5.38 area. For now we can see some bullish momentum right here which is at the support area right here. Also Aldar will be releasing their financial results very soon. If the results are positive I'm pretty sure it will cross this resistance of 5.38 and it will make a new high very soon. So stock this one very closely, there are good chances Aldar will release some positive results and plan your trades accordingly. Those of you holding Buruj, watch this carefully. This is the daily chart by the way. This is a strong support and resistance area for Buruj right here. This marked zone is strong support and resistance area that is somewhere between 2.73 to 2.75 area. Last closing is a bit negative after they release their financial results. However, it is still above the support area. So there are good chances if it wants to come down to tap the support, it can go higher. But in case if it opens with a gap down, this will be an indication that buyers are not interested. It can break the support and go down. So once we see a close below 2.70, Buruj will turn negative. I repeat again, till the time it's above this zone, Buruj is still safe. If it is going up, next target should be 2.95 area. Many of you wanted to know about Invictus, so here it is. This is the daily chart. If you remember my previous analysis, right at this zone I had identified a bullish divergence and after 2 days we saw a huge gap up opening with huge volumes. And from here we are seeing selling pressure. It means it could not sustain the gains. At the same time I had mentioned my analysis right at this level. To stock this one as it's approaching important support and resistance area. Look at this guys, it is just taking a pause near this zone. Very important, we are seeing wicks at the bottom indicating buyers are trying to push higher but still sellers are active here. So what should be our plan of action? I would repeat myself, in my last analysis I had mentioned I want to see a positive green candle with good volumes. This will give us a good indication, yes, buyers are activated again at the same level and from here again slowly and steadily you can expect upside momentum. Usually Invictus makes big move. So I would not be surprised again if it touches 3.25 area. Yes, if you see a bullish momentum here, you can expect this to be your next target. But mind you, this stock is very volatile. It can go up 10%, it can even go down 10%. So if you are planning to buy this one or if you have already bought this one, have a good appetite for risk. Guys, I have started memberships on my channel. 
Just in case you are not able to afford my full course, you can join my membership. All you have to do is go to my YouTube channel Stock Stock. Next to subscribe button, you will see join button. Click this one. You will see three options. Select the best option that suits you. In this membership, I will discuss on different areas of technical analysis so that slowly and steadily you can learn. Also, you can click on this join button. Both are same. Here you can see members who have already joined the membership. Manazil, I'm expecting a good move. This is the daily chart. After breaking the resistance of 0.480, it made a big move to the upside. But at the same time, we are seeing selling pressure. Remember here also when Manazil was trying to cross, it made a long wick indicating selling pressure. We are seeing similar kind of reaction. I think there is still juice remaining in Manazil. Slowly and steadily, I would like to see 0.530 area. There are good chances it can even go sideways from here and then make a big move to the upside. Overall, Manazil is very bullish. So guys, I hope this video was helpful. If you like my analysis, do not forget to smash that like button. For more updates like this, subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Keep stalking.